something which worried me uh, was listening to the players interviewed after the PSG game, and I don't believe that this Celtic team, when they stand in the in the tunnel against the really big teams, the top teams, that they actually believe they can uh, they they can win a game. And that's what I've taken from this season's campaign. Yes, it's great, performed well in Anderlecht. But, you know, we have to be honest and say, you know, has it been better than last season's campaign? The big high uh, against Manchester City performed well. And uh, Celtic still have a lot of work to do. But are you basing that on what you heard from the players after the PSG game? I think Scott Brown spoke to us that night. And were you disappointed then that he didn't come out and hammer their own performance? Yeah, I think well, he was well, echoing how good know, PSG and, and were in the night. I spoke to Henrik about this today. I think that... that um, you know, when you when you thump seven one, I don't want to hear personally uh, about how I wouldn't come out and say how good the opposition have been. I would be disappointed in my own team's performance and and take a little bit of personal responsibility. I think that is what has been lacking. And as I say, when you stand in the tunnel before the game, you don't have to shout your mouth off and tell everybody what you're going to do. But you have to have that inner belief you can you can compete against the top teams. And I just think they're just lacking that a little bit, Celtic. In, in, for Celtic to get better and to, to get into the knockout stages of the Champions League, they need to add quality. Results don't lie, but the gap between PSG and Celtic and Bayern Munich and Celtic is absolutely massive. Mm -hmm. So, yes, in terms of what you're saying, you know, 7-1, you shouldn't be happy with saying how good the opposition are, but sometimes you can't go to PSG, you can't expect Celtic to go there and get anything. Never mind a win, because well. the gap is just... That's why we're talking about needing to add. Uh, you'd have to say, on the whole, though, have Celtic really progressed in European football this season? Well, they're in the Europa after Christmas, but not for me. And this season, there are too many players who haven't turned up in the big games. I have to say, I thought Brendan Rodgers got absolutely bang on at half-time with the substitutions. Scott Sinclair has been a disappointment this season and Stuart Armstrong went, went missing in the first half. And that's a credit to, to the manager that he changed things around. And, and although they lost the game 1-0, they were good in the second half. Oh, oh. It is Europa League qualification. It is a, a step beyond mm. from last season. But in terms of, of the way that you've played within this whole Champions League campaign, do you see improvements from last season? Yeah, I think over the course of the, mm. the, the games, there's been performances that have been excellent You know here against Bayern and some of the other games of course were difficult for us away Anderlecht was great and of course over the course of the six games we got the job done I think everyone looked at it before uh, when the draw was made thinking if we can get into the, the Europa League it would be a great achievement and we've done that lessons always learned at this level because of the level of players you're playing against and you even see Anderlecht like I say we're a much bigger budget than ourselves you see some of the quality players that they have uh, so for us it's, it's a big achievement to get through um, and as I said, you know, the representation for Scottish football is very important in this next level of competition. So, uh, but we're not getting carried away. You see the level of and the amount of work we'd have to do to, to be competitive at this level. Next level, of course, the Europa League. How competitive do you feel you can be in that? And, and will it take a, a busy January for you to really, really sort of push into that campaign? Obviously, uh, listen, there's a lot of work for us to do. Um, We've qualified, which was great, and now we'll wait for the draw. And like I say, we can put it to bed now over the next couple of months and concentrate on the league. Do you know what? Celtic are lucky to have Brendan Rodgers, and I'll tell you why. Because at half time they were they were on the rack. They, you know, they should have been behind, and he changed things. What worries me, and I'll go back to this point, is the lack of responsibility the players on the pitch take, and they have to look at Brendan at half time for him to tell them to do that. The players have to man up and step up. And this wasn't PSG tonight. This was an Andalek side who have improved. Yep. But this is an Andalek side who Celtic at home should be doing much better against. And this is 10 games. This used to be a fortress here. The 60,000 fans turn up. That isn't good enough for me. So if, if Celtic want to talk about progress and get to the next level, it's great in the Europa League. Yeah, absolutely job done. But if we're looking at it honestly as a whole, we need more.